Hey guys, welcome back to our Tar Heels Dynasty in NCAA Football 2004. I am still struggling with my voice a little bit, but we are going to push through this video. This is the final game of our first season of our North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty. We're taking on our bitter rivals, the Duke Blue Devils. They are 0-7 in conference, 1-10 on this season. I expect our team to come out with a lot of fire and a lot of passion and send our seniors off with a huge victory over our rivals. Now, Dexter Reed, he is a senior. Willie Parker, here's the coin toss. And we are gonna go ahead and receive the opening kickoff. This is a big game. We can end the season with five wins if we get a win here today against Duke. Here's Willie Parker on the opening kickoff. Up past the 20 yard line, nice return. Jukes to the outside, past the 30, past the 40. Jukes again and down the 44 yard line. And tack on five yards for the face mask penalty. Tar Heels start their drive at the 49 yard line. Durant looking to throw, the receivers collide in the middle of the field, and that is a pick for the Blue Devils to start things off. And that is Fowler, his first interception on the season for Duke. Smith on third and inches, deep shot left side, incomplete. So the Blue Devils go three and out, they could not capitalize on the takeaway. Durant rolling around, he is gonna be sacked, and that is Fowler, his sixth of the season. Look at those stats, 110 tackles, six, six sacks and an interception, which he just got on the first drive. Durant looking to throw, third and long, deep shot, incomplete, so the offenses Struggling just a little bit here today to start things off in the first quarter. With 19, Lassity to pump the football away. Fair catch, and this is muffed. Johnson is going to recover it. Johnson is going to take this all the way for a scoop and score touchdown. Fireworks here in Chapel Hill. Huge return for the score. It's 7-0. There is the thumbnail, folks. Johnson with a game-breaking play here in the first quarter. Blue Devils looking to rebound after that takeaway. Landrum, nice catch on the right sideline in front of Tar Heel Bench. They're down at 7 though. Smith is dropped. No game. Defense swarming the quarterback. <coughs> and I'm still coughing, but you know, I'm getting better, I think. Grant left side. Mason, freshman receiver. I I think he doesn't have any touchdowns on the season, but I could be wrong. I haven't really looked at the stats too much in this series, which I am going to be changing soon. We're going to put a little bit more uh, time and effort into this series. I know it's been, you know, quite a bit of space in between games, and I do apologize for that. I've been really focusing on the FCS dynasty quite a bit. There's a nice catch by Mitchell. We got a breakout performance last week over 100 yards and a touchdown or two. Uh, we're going to get back to the roots of the channel and work on this dynasty and the Falcons franchise. Um, but that is going to be after season three of the FCS dynasty. We're going to put some more time and effort into these series. There's a nice play by Mason inside the 10 yard line. First down and goal for the Tar Heels. Willie Parker is going to punch it in for the touchdown. Tar Heels up two scores over their in state rivals, the Duke Blue Devils. Third down and long here for Duke. Third and ten. Smith, deep shot left side. Has his man. That's sharp. Inside North Carolina territory. Huge play for them. Five wide receivers set now. Less than a minute left in the first quarter. Smith, right side man open. That's Love. And he will pick up seven or eight yards on the right side. Another big play in the passing game here for Duke as they look to get on the board for the first time today. Third down and three goal line set for the Devils. And here is Douglas. First down and more. Explodes into the secondary. First down. Blue Devils. And that was the best run of the ball game so far. That is the end of the first quarter. Just three quarters remaining here in the season. Second down and six. Play action. Smith is sacked. Cornerback blitz unblocked. Third down and ten now. Five minutes left in the half. Smith to the end zone is sharp, and he's actually at the two-yard line. He had to reach back for that one. And if he threw that and caught it in stride, that would have been a touchdown. Number two, Kansas State falls today. 
That's the second loss of the season as Douglas is dropped for a loss back at the five yard line. Head coach Harold Beecher fired up. Second down and goal. And they're gonna go with the end around here to Love and he fumbles the football. It is recovered by Duke. But another nice play by the defense. Third down and goal for the seven. They're actually at the eight yard line. Smith to the end zone, incomplete. Johnson on the cover. The defense holds the Blue Devils to a field goal. Kick is up and it is good. 14 to three, that was a 13 play. 65 yard drive. Took over three minutes off the clock. Durant, nice pass over the middle to Mitchell. His second reception of the ball game. Crowd is just going crazy non-stop here today. They know it's the final game of the season. It's senior day, and it's going to be a good one here as Mason has a nice catch on the left sideline up to the 30-yard line before he is taken down. Another big play in the passing game. Durant has been pretty solid this season. 14 touchdowns, 14 picks, I believe. A lot of those picks came in just two or three games as Durant is sacked for the second time here today. Third down and 12. Durant. Nice blocking. Has all day to throw it. Rolling around right side. Still waiting patiently for someone to get open. Nobody's getting open at all. He throws it up and it is dropped inside the five yard line. And they're gonna send on Dan Horner for the field goal. Kick is up. No, it is not. It's a fake. Stevens, deep shot. Blizzard, touchdown, Tar Heels. The fake field goal results in a touchdown pass for C.J. Stevens to the tight end, Blizzard. Oh my goodness. What a gutsy play. Great call by the head coach. And it's final game of the season. Rivalry game. You got to pull out all the stops, you know. Smith, deep shot right side. Blue Devils trying to get on the board here. They're down 18 points with less than two remaining here in the first half. Two, three of six on third down today. It's third down and three. And Smith finds his man, that's Powell, for the first down of the 26-yard line. Moving the chains to the tight end. That's just the third catch on the season. Smith is going to be sacked again. Defense for the Tar Heels getting a lot of pressure up the middle today. Smith pressured again, hit as he throws. He's picked off. It's Johnson. He has a scoop and score today. And he has himself a pick six as well. Two touchdowns for the corner. And that opens this game wide open. My goodness, 28 to three. Tar Heels on top. Trying to end the season on a high note here against their rivals. And again, we see pressure up the middle. Smith is destroyed. So listening linebacker unblocked. And Johnson, right place at the right time. Nobody has a shot at catching him. He is the fastest player on this North Carolina defense. <laughs> Not many touchdowns this season with, uh, with actual time to celebrate <laughs> during the runs. Third down and six now. Another big play here for the Tar Heel defense. And it's actually going to end the first half. Just two quarters left in the season. It's 28 to three. And there's a combined eight yards rushing in this ball game so far. Willie Parker, of course, had the best game of his life <laughs> uh, yesterday, actually, against Georgia Tech, over 200 rushing yards. And hopefully the Tar Heels can get him a little bit more involved here in the second half. It's third down and 10 for the Blue Devils. Smith hit as he throws again, right side, finds his man. That's Johnson inside the 30, inside the 20, and Johnson is gone. Touchdown, just like that. And Dumar is injured on the play. Oh, my goodness. What a play to start off the second half. It's 28-10 now as Willie Parker gets a carry finally. First down pickup for the senior halfback. 23 yards today now on four carries. Second down and four. Blizzard in motion to the left side. Parker gets a hand off that play. And he's going to fumble the football. And he did pick up the first down. It was recovered by Mason. First and 10 from the 50. Durant right side. Mitchell. Inside the 30, Mitchell inside the 10, inside the five, down the one yard line, they push him out at the one. Oh my goodness, what a play. And he has really had a couple great games 
at the end of this season as Lewis punches it in for a touchdown on the ground. Willie Parker out. Uh, just taking a breather. And the back of halfback punches it in for the score. And Duke almost throws another interception here. Waddell and Reed on the coverage. It's 35 to 10. Tar Heels get another three and out. Willie Parker moves the chains. First down, North Carolina. There's two minutes left in the third. Tar Heels trying to pour it on here against their in-state rivals. Here's Mitchell again getting the catch. Picks up maybe five or six. There's a look at Durant's numbers. 2,300 yards, 14 touchdowns, 14 picks. And we expect him to be back next season. I don't think he's going to go pro as Mason falls forward and picks up the first down. Well, this receiving core is going to be outstanding for the next couple seasons at least. It's mostly freshmen here as Durant is sacked way back at the 31-yard line. And that's Duan with the sack. Third and 17 now. Durant throws it right side and that is almost picked off. Now it'll be interesting to see what the Tar Heels do here. They will send on the field goal unit. And this is going to be a 46-yard attempt for Dan Orner, and he gets it through the middle. That's the longest field goal of the season for Dan Orner, who has actually had a rough year kicking the football. That is the end of the third quarter, 38-10. Tar Heels on top, just six minutes left in season number one. Pass left side to Douglas, up past the 30-yard line. A third down and one. They're going to hand it off to the fullback, who's going to get two yards and move the chains for Duke. Stay tuned for Atlanta Falcons franchise. I'm hoping to get at least one or two videos out this week for that series. As Landrum has a nice catch inside the 30-yard line. It looked like it hit the defender's hand. And he caught it off to deflection. Drop play to Douglas. He is dropped for a loss. The defense really come on strong the past couple weeks. Getting a lot of pressure up the middle. And if we can get a, a victory here to end the season, two straight wins, especially a win against our rival, uh, I think that's going to give us a lot of momentum going forward into year number two. Fourth down and five for Duke. Smith right side, and it's deflected away by Harris. Turnover on downs for Duke. First and ten. Willie Parker gets the carry. Left side in the open field. Willie Parker has the speed inside Duke territory. Inside the end zone. Huge touchdown run for the Tar Heels. Willie Parker showing the scouts, showing the NFL scouts what he can do here for the final two weeks of the season for us. And really just having a breakout performance here. And my question is, where is this bet? Season long. We desperately needed the ground attack, and we just did not have one. It's 45-10. North Carolina looks to be the victors here in this ballgame, but there's still plenty of time left for Duke to get something going. But Smith is dropped by Doug Justice. He gets the sack on that play. We've got five tackles today as well. Third down of 13, three minutes left in season one. Smith over the middle, incomplete off the receiver's hands. Doug Justice was there. Tar Heels back on offense. Goal line formation. Looking to run this clock out. Willie Parker bounces off a couple guys. Jukes spins a man out of his shoes. Willie Parker to the outside. Willie Parker to the end zone. Tar Heels exploding here today for 52 points against the Duke Blue Devils. What a run. And actually some great blocking today as well. I mean, I know Duke is a your team. <laughs> the offensive line has been playing great here today. Third down and four for Duke. We're going to go goal line set. Johnson gets the toss. He is dropped for a loss of three yards. That's, that is uh, Waddell on the tackle for losses. This is his final game. Our number one cornerback. Johnson played the game for North Carolina. Two tackles, a pick, a fumble recovery, two defensive touchdowns. That is the ball game. 52 to 10 is the final. We end the season on a high note, getting a win against our rivals and our, on senior day as well. So we send the seniors off with a big time win against now 1 11 Duke Blue Devils. We finished 5 7 on the season. 
Okay, let's take a quick look at the stats. 175 yards on the ground today. 190 through the air for North Carolina. And only one turnover today. That was the pick in the very first quarter. Might have actually been the first pass attempt of the ball game. 52 to 10 is the final. Dan Orner with a huge field goal today, and a special teams touchdown. Actually, actually two special teams touchdowns today. Fake field goal, 33-yard touchdown pass from C.J. Stevens to Blizzard. Willie Parker has three touchdowns on the ground. Lewis gets one, and Darrell Mitchell 83 yards today. Almost 200 yards receiving the final two games of the season for the sophomore. Offensive line sacked, uh, allowed one sack today, and that was Terry. But a lot of explosive plays here today. Dexter Reed goes out with a bang, his final game of his career in college. He has eight tackles. A lot of seniors that we are just not going to be seeing anymore. Johnson, of course, is a senior as well. So he is done, and he finishes his career with two touchdowns in his final game huge statement win. Now, well, hopefully this gives us a lot of momentum going into recruiting and we can get some young talent here. We need, we desperately need a running back uh, because we just don't have any. Uh, we need some offensive line and everything on defense <laughs> is up for grabs. We need a kicker, a punter. Offseason is going to be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to bringing in some new talent as Army beats Navy in one of the best college football rivalries in history. 34-17 is the final. Army came into the game with just two wins. Notre Dame beats Syracuse. Boise State beats Hawaii 27-3. So the Broncos are 8-5. and five. They get a bowl game. Hawaii gets a bowl game. Notre Dame gets one. And Navy. And here are the conference championship games. Kansas State beats Oklahoma. So the Sooners no longer in the discussion for the national championship game. Auburn loses to Tennessee, who was unranked, and if you were wondering, Northern Illinois did win their conference. Reggie Williams gets the Heisman, 90 receptions, 1,544 yards, 17 touchdowns. Oh my goodness, Maurice Claret gets second, Darren Sproles is on there, and Greg Jones, I'm not sure who Hobbs is, probably a halfback for TCU. But that is it for the season, folks. We'll go through and simulate all the bowl games in the next video and we'll also have the entire offseason i will see you guys with that one soon stay tuned for the atlanta falcons franchise we're gonna have a couple videos for them as well i'll see you guys soon take it easy